Health advisories have been issued for several beaches all across Tampa Bay after water sample testing found fecal pollution. You can see right here, we're talking about Robert J. Strickland Beach, Brusher Park, and Gulf Harbors beaches. This is all in Pasco County, and then Cypress Point in Tampa and Simmons Park in Ruskin. The Department of Health says the bacteria can come from stormwater runoff, pets, wildlife, and human sewage. The next water sampling date in Pasco is set for July 22nd. In Hillsborough, beaches will be resampled on July 17th. And there is also a no swim advisory for Palmasola Beach in Manatee County. From fecal pollution to red tide to blue green algae, there's a lot in our water that we are keeping a close eye on because of the impact they can all have on our health. Most recently, flesh eating bacteria. And we know it's a lot to keep track of and living in the area where going to the beach is just a way of life. We know that this affects you and your family. So we sent our Phil Buck to verify what flesh eating bacteria actually is and if it is really becoming more common. Flesh eating bacteria sounds like something out of science fiction. And if you want to get technical, it is. That's right. There's no such thing as flesh eating bacteria. For this Verify project, we consulted Dr. Juan Dumois, an infectious disease doctor at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, CBS News correspondent Dr. Jonathan LaPook, and the Florida Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control. Flesh-eating bacteria is a convenient term. What, what's actually happening, though, is once the bacteria start to grow and, and divide underneath the skin, they aren't actually chewing up the flesh. They are producing poisons and toxins that destroy flesh. It would be like pouring acid on your skin. The condition is called necrotizing fasciitis, and we wanted to know if the bacteria that causes it is everywhere, why is it so rare? To some degree, it's bad luck and being a person at increased risk and getting exposed to the bacteria actually entering that cut or scrape when you're in the water. I just spoke to the Centers for Disease Control and they said it's really hard to get your arms around uh, the numbers and whether they're increasing because these are generally reported by the state uh, and then it gets rolled up into the CDC report. It's probably underreported. It's influenced by things like press uh, coverage so that the more it's covered, the more people are going to be reporting it. So while necrotizing fasciitis is a serious, potentially life-threatening condition, we determined that the existence of flesh-eating bacteria is false. Now, the most important thing to remember is to wash out any cups or scrapes that you have after being in the water. For instance, like I cut my knee, scraped it up pretty well when I was swimming at Anna Maria Island over the weekend. I got out immediately. I hit it with the garden hose. Then I got some antibacterial wipes and wiped it out. Then I put the antibacterial cream on it and disinfected it. The doc I talked to today said, that was exactly the right thing to do. So you want to make sure you clean all those cups after you've been in the water. And keep in mind, you can get necrotizing fasciitis just by eating uncooked seafood. But most importantly, remember these cases are extremely rare and only certain people like those with weakened immune systems are the most at risk. So important to be thorough and careful. So if there is something you want us to fact check, send us an email at turn to 10 at WTSP.com or you can go ahead and contact us on social media.